Good morning from Space Museum. Good morning from Hong Kong. So currently I'm on the way to get my coffee, Starbucks. I woke up late because again, with the jet lag and that the whole team is actually in another country, in different countries because of time zones. Um, yeah, I went to sleep like around 4 a.m. till 4 I had like a few meetings and but yeah, so I slept very well and now I got hungry and I need my coffee. So I'm going to Starbucks and afterwards, guess what? We are going to visit a space museum here in Hong Kong and I'm taking my iPhone with me and I prepared the mic. Why am I actually not using mic now for the better quality? Well, yeah. The drive will take like around 30 minutes approximately. I checked on their website. They have like um, different uh, opportunities to attend like some space shows and exhibitions so let's see what we'll be able to see there we have arrived to the hong kong space museum let's get inside so first they sent me to this box office here i'm waiting in the line for to get my ticket so i paid for tickets 10 hong kong dollar well, let's see what everything is included there. But it's super cheap, actually. So this is a Cosmos Hall that we're entering. families like really I guess today's Saturday and it's a perfect day for parents to get their kids and bring them somewhere to a great place like Space Museum so yeah you can really see a lot of kids in a very early age actually this is our solar system <laughs> we have another exciting tube here. <laughs> they enjoyed so much. Actually, I loved how they built it. So here you have like the whole solar system. And in the next part, you have the solar system revealed. So each element will be described you know, in detail here. This is awesome, I think. Helps really to understand all the details. And to play around with those things as well. Like, <laughs> I think they enjoy it even more than me. <laughs> Counter. I'm definitely gonna check this. Oh wow. Okay, definitely this kid knows better how to use that. the most interesting part for myself moon and mars vr definitely something i want to try out now <laughs>
Alex, um, why are you here? Like, I assume you wanted to show little Andrea uh, to yeah. help her to learn a little bit more about space. Could you talk more about it? Sure. Uh, because I want to uh, explore more with my children. Because like, uh, I think my daughters uh, want to explore more about like the science, uh, about the space and all the things about um, things yeah. that she's not uh, really familiar. That's why I bring her, try to bring her to some um, museum to explore more. That's amazing. That's my purpose. Yeah. That's fantastic. And um, why do you think space is important? That's extremely important. We can explore more. That we are and we are not uh, really familiar. That, um, that a lot of uncertainty to us. That's why. And I also want to bring my children to know more things about um, that we are not familiar. That we are not to um certain to us. Yeah. That's why a lot of um people want to um explore more to the to the um to the um uh space to the other place yeah. Yeah. So I want to and how do you like this museum? Um that's awesome. A lot of um introduction things and a lot of um, a lot of um I don't know, explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain, yeah. yeah. Thank you so so much. You're right. Thank you and enjoy the the tour. Good to see you. And good to see you too. Andrea, do you like it? Yeah. Andrea is four years old, and uh, yeah, as you can see, she's very happy on exploring the <laughs> all the information about space that she can only find. have a game <laughs> and a lot of interested people in this game behind me you can see the relativity bicycle and you can actually cycle near to the speed of light you want to try it out <laughs> actually i like this kind of stuff to explain um the scientific concept. I think it's so much easier and like more engaging for kids. We have Chris Hatfield and Samantha Christofretti. Hello, Samantha. Do you know? Let's see. Oh. Do you know that astronauts aboard the International Space Station can choose their own food? Astronauts' favorite food is ice cream. Open to enjoy so space meal. Christina, do you approve? <laughs> do you approve the menu? What do we have? We have smoked turkey. Then we have candy cordy chocolates. And we have, what is it? Orange mango drink. I'm gonna eat it only after your approval. You can also keep fit in space. Here is how they did.
Well, if you want to control the launch process, here's where you need to come. <laughs> And this is another space game. So here you have two joysticks. Okay, now there is a maintenance in progress. Anyway, you cannot play, but in general, it's also a super cool thing. So what you can do is actually you can guide the space vehicle to dock with the International Space Station. And I think that it's super cool. So I guess they're gonna fix it now. We are on the Mars surface. Here's the Mars rover. We will learn the process on how the rocket gets into orbit. Well, here it is. So guys, I'm sitting here in a um, capsule, as you can see, and this is my seat, and I also brought my friend. His name is um, Juju, and uh, yeah, basically we're ready to take off. <laughs> Like Mission it was something <laughs> wrong. Really? <laughs> so many millions, Zero millions of dollars yeah, of like know. gone. <laughs> oh no! Incorrect fuel really tank and engine. I just met this lovely family. What's Here is a, a shy wife as well. <laughs> yeah. Now we have the whole group and they've been visiting the Space Museum here in Hong Kong and I have actually a couple of questions for you. So first of all, why do you think space is important? Okay, that's why the case. Why important? is space important? Huh? Huh? You're from here. Why is space important? You're from here. Space is important because we want to learn about what we don't know, right? And space is so big and we can learn a lot from understanding what's going on in space, right? Right? <laughs> yes. How did you like guys the, the museum itself? I saw that you were trying to to work on a real space mission. Did you like it? Did you like the launching of the rocket? You were trying what to build else? a space What's your favorite? Show? What's your favorite? <laughs> Trying to put the space shuttle into the International Space Station. Yay! Right. What about you, Sershi? What was your favorite? And what did we learn? Who, what was the first thing in space? This first astronaut the was doggy. a. The doggy! What was the doggy's name? You remember? Laika. Laika, yeah. Laika, yes. And, right? and what was the first astronaut? What's his name? Remember? Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Thank much. you. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, we are in the gift shop now. Of course, the experience wouldn't be the same without the shop and without the presents. Well, I picked two books and I'm also very interested. And I'm also very interested in getting one of those rockets which one so i was thinking about this or this i'm gonna check them both so guys i hope you like the tour here in hong kong space museum and yeah of course i didn't leave the museum without presents <laughs> and yeah let's say goodbye to this beautiful and fantastic place again it was lovely it was lovely to see you 
and hope to see you next time.